What is up, all you addicts out there? Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Addicted Life. We got an exciting one today. We already got two fish in the box right here. And I'm stoked because we have some of our favorite people on the boat today. We did our company party this year at a place called Big Owls. It's in Vancouver, Washington, if you guys have never heard of it. We have some of our friends that work there on the boat with us today. Introduce yourself. I'm Daniel. Daniel here. Thomas. Tiffany. I'm Scott. Scott. I'm Dave. And Dave. You guys, I go to this place all the time. I bring my daughter there. It's a really, really fun place to go to. So if you haven't okay. checked it out, I'll put a link in the description. You guys can I check it out. Be. But we're going to smash yeah, some fish Jerry, today. Jerry Let's and Matt are out today. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Big man Daniel. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Scott. Scott. Come on back here. Daniel. Morning. Oh <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to come by and put a shrimp on your bait. Get the big, it's kind of early morning, guys, so we're going to go find the bigger shrimps. Give them a little bigger target to hit. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's hanging. It. Easy. Bait flash your weight, guys. Bait the water, flash your lead, and then you get to untwist the tops. And that's really what I'm referring to because it sucks trying to untwist the tops in the morning after that run. You're good to go? Yeah, you're good to go. Swing it. Swing it back on. Oh, you know what you're doing. Don't push it. We have fish in the gear, fish in the gear, fish in the gear. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. <laughs> you on there? Yep. Yeah, he's on fish there. on real guy. Got a little pull to it. Pick up, pick up. I'm over I just I'm over here. Pick up, pick up. All the way to wait, slow steady left. Slow steady left. Not yet, he says, not yet, not yet. Not yet, he said, easy, easy, easy. You don't know it yet. You don't know. Go straight up now, Karen. Easy, easy, easy. Let him get, once he gets done, then go. Now. There he is. Buddy. All right. Hold on. What time is it? 5:20. Right on schedule. Nice job, dude. You want him back out? He's a keeper. He is clipped. So what we'll do? Okay. That, didn't take long. that didn't take. That was easy. You're in what we call the beer bracket now. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. You brought some. Watch this one. Watch this one. He's still hot. Nice job. Yep. Appreciate you putting this on. That's right. That's why we got up early, boys. Look at that. Look at that, guys. That's that new freaking short bus blade I designed for JT. That thing has been a ringer this year. 12 again, Cam. And we've got one of the new Addicted Advantage single hooks just stuck right in the jaw, as pretty as it can be. We can use barbs here, which is awesome. There you go. Sick. Good work, dude. Need another one. Okay. Fish in the gear. Fish in the gear. Fish in the gear. He is there. Oh, I wish I would have seen that. I was going too slow. They're still in it. They're still following it. Oh my gosh. I, I, I kind of screwed that one up, guys. Damn it. There was two of them right on the bottom. That I was going. Don't go back down there. Turn around right now. Yeah, I'd go into that fray. Don't go back there. <laughs> well, there's a school there. Weird. <laughs> oh, he does have one. See, we told you not to go that way. And the fish were getting nudged in. I bet we were. Oh, no, 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 Everybody in, everybody in. Go to eight. Go to eight. Nice to meet you. You got him. Go easy, go easy, go easy. You at eight? Go easy, go easy. Yeah. 
Right, down, 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 in the water, in the water, in the water. Lower the water, lower the water, lower the water. Open the bale, open the bale. Push the, push the thumb. I got three, I got three. He's still there, he's still there. Go easy, go easy, go easy. Down to the way, down to the way, reel the weight, reel the weight. Too late. Reel the weight, reel the weight. There you go, slow, steady, lift, straight up. Game over, buddy. Got a little there spicy there for a second. Came a lot around the transfer. Awesome, Good, Good job, dude. Good job. Perfect. Good job in that line. Nice fish. Nice fish. Good, Good job dumping that bale when we needed to. Double, double check. Another nice one. Rodeo. Right, give me one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. There we go. go. Nice job, guys. What do you guys think? <laughs> That's got an awfully big wide. banana. We got two huh? fish in the box. About to have a bunch more. Hang it on a rod. Hang the peel on the rod. Pick a rod, hang it. Oof. There we go. There it is. It's like hanging a bell on your rod, practically. You know it's gonna go off. You know it's totally gonna go off. Keep reeling. Okay. Nice fish, nice fish. Marlon, you that. Go, 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 Oh, we're good! Yeah! <laughs> Go to 20, get him in. Nice job. Yeah! He said no. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, that's good work. Come on, think about it. Jealous, like. Good one. Hey, we're uh, four for five now. All right, everyone. So we had some really special little buddies that uh, are big addicted fans. Cam just took them out on a trip not too long ago, didn't you? Smashed them, huh? Uh, I sent these guys a bunch of addicted apparel. Love all the little addicts out there, all the younger kids in the next generation of fishermen. Shout out to you. They made me some cards, and I'm stoked. I'm stoked to see them. I'm open them for you guys right here. Let's see what they said here. They said, our family wanted to say thank you for all the support you have shown us youth addicts. You guys are truly inspirational, blessing to others. Keep doing what you love. Stay fishy from our family to yours. Look at these little guys. All of them rocking their addicted apparel right there, addicted hats. Fishing with Dan Fisher down there in Astoria. He made me some cards, check that out. Check that out, sick. Oh, look at this drawing. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> he says, hey, Marlon, thank you for the stickers and hats. We really appreciate it so much. They went all out, dude. <laughs> Got the steelhead probably, huh? Same. Thank you for the hats and stickers. You're welcome, Caleb. One more. This one's really good. This is from Zach. Oh, badass. Good job, little man. Thank you so much, guys, I appreciate it. And all you little addicts out there, I have a wall in my office, all the letters, all the pictures, everything you guys have ever sent me, I put them all on the wall. So if any of you guys ever wanna send us something, we do at the very, very bottom of the description, we have an address, you guys can send us anything you want. We love getting letters and stuff from all you little addicts out there, so we'll see you on the river. Longest I've gone and freaking push it. Hurry up. Daniel, Daniel, get it, get it. I was literally gonna say this is the longest I've gone all season without seeing a fish pop. Slow steady lift straight up. If he's not running, lift. 
Duck the lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down. Really nice one. We shortchanged yeah. him. But see, sometimes these springers, they get a little stunned. And it's it? nice to get them in the boat because we like to eat these things. Chop the line out. Nice. <laughs> it's still hot yeah. in the boat. Good work. What do you mean it's still hot? Like, still he was not ready. Like, he didn't even know he was hooked. Yeah, he was throwing really. his head. Okay. And you have that long net on him. You can get up, you can get him before he starts running and has a chance to throw the hook. So. <laughs> Wow, one more, let's go. You snuck up on him, you didn't know. Yeah. Roll him up. Everyone else roll him up. All right, do, do we try to get, do we stay out and try to get Marlin one? Grab this fin. There oh, you, that's there it you. right that's there. That's it. Dude. There's the hole. One, two, Took five three. fish, but we got it. <laughs> nice, perfect. These guys are pros, that's why. All right, guys, we got our number five for our friends at Big Al's. Super glad we got that one in the box, but Marlon took a day off work. So you know what? We're gonna try to get him one too, but I figured we're doing a little shore break, a little reset. We're gonna run through the setup real quick for you guys out here trying to figure out and trying to do this 360 fishing with the short bus, short bus Super Series flashers. Heavy rods, 10 to 30 is what you're gonna want. These are 10 and a half foot Akuma 1062 H's and XH's in the bow. We've got 12 ounce leads on the short bus sliders followed by a bead chain, 50 pound mono bumper, to another bead chain, and then of course that short bus, chrome dipped, super series flasher, leader, and then we've got some little custom spinner blades we're working on, and a millennial coon shrimp sitting right there on a hook setup. We're trolling this around, we're just trying to scrape the bottom, and apparently we just ran into lucky number five, so. We got five. We what got five. What size braid are you braid, using? Oh, sorry guys, in the braided main line I use, I use a 65 pound braid. Since I'm using a 50 pound bumper, if I snag this up, I don't want to lose all my subs. I don't want to use my lead. And then a lot of times if I hang the lead into the rocks, having that 65 pound, I can pop it a couple times. A lot of times it's enough to get that lead to release from the rock. So you don't want to skimp on your main line. And honestly, as you guys can see, the fish ain't shy about it. And the thing is too, guys, we use a lot of high, a lot of people are always weirded out by the high vis, but it's really actually nice to have it because you can really see your setups. You can see the thumps on your rods. When you have people in the boat fighting the fish, you can see what's going on having that high vis line. So addicted enforcer braid on our website. We should have dropped it and got one. Watch, watch, watch. He's coming up to the gear. He's coming up to it right now. Eat it. Oh my gosh, come on. Where's he at? Two of them. Come on. Come on. He's still in it. He's still in it. He's still in it. He's still, in it. He's still there. He's dripping yeah. back now. Dang it. Ooh. That should have been a bite. They were in it bars. No, no, it's not Jack. That's not Jack. That's Are you serious? It's like a small one. It's a small one. Guess what? We're gonna land it. It is a jack. It is a jack. Big jack. That's a good one. It's a bonus fish. Bonus fish. Bonus fish. Bonus. No salmon, only small. Yeah. yeah. It's just like fish. There's the bonk eye. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that trophy. Woo! Pan fried. Hey. hey, they taste the same. There's just less of it. I promise. Yum. Oh man, I hope you guys enjoyed some of those pretty good bites and takedowns. I know Sean got those on film. But as you can see, we got about two and a half footers 
and I think we're gonna go in and Marlin, you only get the you only get the Mega Jack. That's right, I'll take it. Wait, I'll take it. it. Jumbo, Jumbo Jack. Jumbo Jack. It's still gonna eat good. Yeah. They all eat I mean same. it's like it tastes just like Springer, only smaller. So maybe we're gonna head in, but we ain't done yet. Here comes Marlins. Oh, oh God. Giant, dude. Super tight squeeze Lift in. Bring the fish up sideways Don't to me. Don't cover your face. Don't cover your face. Below your face. Smile, damn it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get a wide <laughs> stance to support the fish. <laughs> okay, guys, everybody knows how to like fillet a salmon or you've seen the fillet videos, but I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that you can get all the meat off the salmon because I always see all your guys' comments like, you left so much meat on there, did it? I'm like, well, I want to see you guys do better, but I'm going to show you how we actually break down the salmon. First, we're going to do, we're going to take off the dorsal. Then we're going to take off the anal and the vent fins. Yes, there's a teeny bit on there, but we're not talking <laughs> very much. Then I'm going to remove the guts. Cut all the way up. I'm going to check for eggs. These are springers, so they don't have much. Reach in there, make it a little incision, pull this out. Now I got all the fins and guts removed. I'm gonna turn the fish around, take my knife, go in behind the fin, downward angled cut them, angled this way, and then angled this way so I can get down underneath the collar, turn the knife, run it as tight as I can to the backbone, drop the fillet out. As you can see, it is as, look at that, you can see the bone, I got it as smooth as best as I'm ever gonna get. I'm gonna flip it over and take my knife. Same angle, same cut, down to the backbone, turn the knife. And as you can see there, I didn't try to do a lot of sawing motion. If you actually have a good sharp knife, you won't have to do that. Second fillet comes out. Now, I've got the backbone and the collars still attached to the fish. I'm gonna reach in there. I'm gonna make a ring around the gills with my fingers so my fingers aren't in the gills. I'm gonna take that knife and I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna trace the outside of the gills and then go straight down. Now, if you want the salmon head, he's ready to go. Now your collars are sitting here. Those are ready to go. Throw those in the smoker, do whatever else you want with them, throw them in your air fryer, they work great. If you want the backbone, because there is, even though I did a fillet job where you can see through just about the whole fish, there is still some really good meat on there. Um, tends to be a little bloodier piece of meat because there's always the, the backbone and everything, all the veins are right there. What I'll do is I'll remove the tail. And then I like to take this, and since I got a fillet away fish mat underneath here, I'm gonna keep the tip of this blade down. And I'm gonna try to remove some of this kidney. We call it the bloodline, but it's actually the kidney of the salmon. And just run my knife just a little bit past it. And it gets rid of most of that issue. Now, as you can see, with a very light, light rinse, You've got a great backbone. You've got your collars and your fillets. We're gonna finish those up by just taking and removing the rib bones like that. Just a really sharp knife is what you wanna use for this stuff, guys. A couple slices. Kinda of missed a couple rib bones there, but you know what? We're just gonna go back through, making sure I don't lose any extra meat. And that, my friends, is like the most meat that you're ever gonna get off a salmon. So one other person. But these, man, face up and, oh shit. Not that one. <laughs> Can't grab the net, somebody. I got it, I got one. Nothing goes to waste. Boom, collars, backbones, big old bag, bonk them all, fillet bag, fits perfectly. We sell those that's on our a, website, That's a bag guys. of meat. We, we sell those bags on our website. They're amazing for all different types of fish processing. They're just a little bit bigger, heavier duty bag, but they work awesome. Also guys, these mats that Cam's using, you see them in a lot of our videos, you can either get them on Filetway's website or these green ones are a limited edition one that you can get on our website as well. Amazing for filleting fish, just a little bit of pressure, and these things don't slide around at all.
I do want to like showcase a little project we've been working on. I know you guys haven't seen us put this in the shorts and whatnot, but I did all those fish for the last three or four days. We did those six fish we caught today. And as you can see, it will still completely shave. As you can see, my arm's gonna look ridiculous, but I wanted to show you guys. That's not touching it with a honer. That's not touching it with a stone. That is absolutely just getting done, putting away the flay table, and deciding to shave some patches off my arm. So, ridiculously sharp knife. It's been a fun project to work on. ETA is by the end of the year, but coming soon. Keep your pay attention to it. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed watching some fish. Big shout out to Marlin and all the gang here at Big Owls that come out. They love addicts. We love them. They're a great place. Check them out. They got five different locations, guys. Family entertainment centers, a blast to take your kids, go hang out with your buds. Check them out, and hopefully we'll see you guys on the water very soon. Daniel, Daniel, get it, get it.